This is Catholic Daily Reflections for the 24th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year B. Today's reflection is entitled, A Spiritual U-Turn. He summoned the crowd with his disciples and said to them, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake and that of the gospel will save it. Practically speaking, how do we follow Jesus and save our souls? Is it enough to profess that we believe in Jesus? If we were to arrive at the conclusion that Jesus is God and the Savior of the world, would we then be saved? Certainly not. Even the demons believe this truth. Jesus is quite clear that salvation requires action on our part. We must deny ourselves take up our crosses, and follow him. Furthermore, the road to salvation requires that we lose ourselves for the sake of Christ and the gospel. What exactly does that mean, practically speaking? To answer this question, let's first consider the way that many people live. We tend to desire that which is the easiest in life, the most enjoyable, the greatest, and the most consoling. We often seek out those things that make us feel good and the path of least resistance. For example, if you could choose to fast on bread and water or feast on the most delicious foods, which would you choose? If you could choose between a vacation in the most exotic and luxurious location or a week of very difficult work, which would you choose? If you could choose to drive a brand new high-end car or a very old beater, which one would you prefer? Most people would quickly pick the nice food, luxurious vacation, and fancy new car. In his spiritual classic, The Ascent to Mount Carmel, St. John of the Cross outlines a very different path. He gives a series of spiritual maxims to use for prayer and meditation to help purify our soul of every unhealthy attachment so that you can become more fully attached to God and His holy will. St. John says, Strive always to prefer not that which is easiest, but that which is most difficult, not that which is most attractive, but that which is most unpleasant, not that which gives most pleasure, but rather that which gives least. These spiritual maxims, when read in their entirety, challenge us to the core of our being. They quickly reveal to those who are honest that they often prefer the easiest, most pleasant, and best that this world has to offer. But what is best for your eternal soul? Jesus is teaching that we must deny ourselves, take up our cross, and follow him, is the road map to saving your eternal soul and to discovering a spiritual fulfillment that far surpasses anything this world or our flesh have to offer. But in order to understand this road map and then follow it, we often need to make a spiritual U-turn, so to speak. This U-turn begins with us choosing the cross on every level of our being and concludes with God stripping away all selfish desires and replacing them with a desire for sacrificial love. If you were to carefully examine your thoughts throughout the day, you might find that you think about yourself a lot. I like this, don't want to do that, am angry about this, and am trying to avoid that. Very often, our thoughts begin with I and end with me. Denying yourself, taking up your cross and losing your life means that you no longer think about yourself. It means that the eyes of your soul have turned away from yourself and focus exclusively upon the will of God and the love of others. But this will never be possible until we are freed of the numerous selfish desires that often direct most of our actions day in and day out. Reflect today upon that which you desire throughout your day. 
What occupies your thoughts the most? What are you drawn to the most? Do you spend most of your day thinking about how you can better serve God and His holy will? Or do you spend most of your day thinking about yourself? Do the eyes of your soul most often turn to the selfless service of others? Or do they more often think about what you want in a selfish way? Reflect upon these difficult questions and seek to eradicate everything within you that is selfish. Doing so will enable you to make a spiritual U-turn so that you can carry the glorious and transforming cross of Christ. Let us pray. My sacrificial Lord, you lived a selfless life in which your only concerns were the glory of the Father in heaven and the salvation of the world. Please free me from all selfishness so that I will be more able to deny myself in every way, run toward every cross in life, and follow you into the beautiful life of selfless and sacrificial love. Jesus, I trust in you.